why age matters in your practice? I do. I'm Lisa Copeland, CEO of Lisa Copeland Communications. And today my tip for you is practicing generational application. And what that means is dress to the oldest generation in your practice for the day. So look at the schedule, look at the age of the people that are coming in and dress to that generation. So for example, if I'm seeing a couple baby boomers or a couple traditionalists through the day because we see all age ranges and this is applicable for your team as well. But if I'm seeing that baby boomer, that, that traditionalist, what I want you to do is think about dressing as they expect you to dress. And so here's what you can do by dressing to the oldest generation for um, throw on a white lab jacket because that's what they grew up seeing as the dental professional. Everybody wore a white lab jacket in their day. Throw on that jacket if you want to take it one step further. As a male, you can put on a collared shirt and a tie. And that's what they're expecting. That is going to elevate your relationship with that patient right from the get-go. For a woman, have a lab jacket available as well in the office and just throw it over your outfit maybe that you wore in for that day or put it over your scrubs, right? You can never go wrong by overdressing, but you could go wrong by underdressing. Tip of the day is dress to the oldest generation. Take it one step further 
As a male, you can put on a collared shirt and a tie. And that's what they're expecting. That is going to elevate your relationship with that patient right from the get-go. For a woman, have a lab jacket available as well in the office and just throw it over your outfit maybe that you wore in for that day or put it over your scrubs. Right? You can never go wrong by overdressing, but you could go wrong by underdressing. Tip of the day is dress to the oldest generation. Perfect. Very good.